Hello, and welcome to our MPS Automotive Tech Talk. My name is Calvin Huang, and I'm a Product Marketing Manager here at MPS Automotive. For this video, we are going to discuss a technology called Adaptive Feedback Control. This technology enables multi-channel linear LED drivers used in automotive lighting applications to run cooler and more efficiently. A popular architecture for automotive multi-channel LED lighting applications is shown. An off-battery DC-DC pre-regulator is used to output constant voltage, V-bias, needed to drive strings of LEDs connected in parallel, with each string assigned an individual channel. A low side linear driver is connected to regulate current through each string of LEDs by syncing the current. Given this architecture, the default value of V-bias is set via the one-time programmable memory of the linear driver by manipulating the voltage through the FBO pin and resistor ladder so the feedback pin of the pre-regulator adjusts its duty cycle to set the desired value for V-bias. V-bias must be set high enough to account for the channel with the largest voltage drop, VLED, plus the minimum voltage required for the channel of the linear driver to regulate, VLEDX. For example, if across all channels, channel 14 has the largest voltage drop of 9 volts, meaning VLED equals 9 volts, and 300 millivolts is required to regulate, meaning VLED 14 equals 300 millivolts, then V bias needs to be set to 9 volts plus 300 millivolts or 9.3 volts for the circuit to function correctly. In a real world application, the forward voltage of an LED is inversely correlated with temperature. To maintain the same current output under cold conditions, the forward voltage of an LED will be relatively high. Under hot conditions, the forward voltage of an LED will be relatively low. Given the fact that an automobile is subject to a wide range of temperatures, this specification needs to be accounted for in the design. Taking the prior example in a hypothetical scenario, if under cold conditions, the channel with the largest voltage drop, channel 14, requires 9 volts to regulate a constant 100 milliamps, then the power loss would be kept at a minimum of 300 microwatts. Under hot conditions, the voltage needed to regulate will be less, let's say 6 volts. Since the pre-regulator is outputting 9.3 volts, there is 3.3 volts that needs to be dissipated by the channel of the linear driver equivalent to 330 milliwatts of power loss. This yields system inefficiency and an increased thermal load in an environment that is already hot. Enter adaptive feedback control. This technology allows for dynamic real-time adjustment of the pre-regulator output V-bias through the FBO pin of the linear regulator. VLDX for each channel is periodically monitored by the control loop of the linear driver. By rearranging the equation for regulation, we can see if VLEDX of the channels are kept within a certain range, the linear driver can operate properly and efficiently. This is done by setting low band and high band thresholds for VLEDX within the registers of the linear driver. If VLEDX were to stray outside of these two values, the linear driver will manipulate the voltage on the FBO pin, which alters V bias until VLEDX is kept between these two values. The low band is correlated with the minimum VLEDX voltage needed for the linear driver to correctly regulate, and the high band is correlated with the maximum amount of VLEDX voltage the linear driver syncs to optimize efficiency. For example, say the low band threshold is set to 300 millivolts and the high band threshold is set to 400 millivolts. If VLEDX of any channel falls below 300 millivolts, AFC will pull the FBO pin to decrease, which inversely increases the duty cycle of the pre-regulator until V bias is high enough and VLEDX rises above 300 millivolts. Conversely, if VLEDX of all channels rise above 400 millivolts, AFC will pull the FBO pin to increase, which inversely decreases the duty cycle of the pre-regulator until V bias is low enough and VLEDX of any channel falls below 400 millivolts. If VLEDX of all channels fall between 300 millivolts and 400 millivolts, 
the linear driver does not take any actions. It is operating with enough headroom on all channels to regulate correctly, but is sinking the least amount of current and therefore maximizing efficiency. In the prior hypothetical example, channel 14 with a V bias of 9.3 volts that only requires a 6 volt drop across its string of LEDs has a VLED X of 3.3 volts. In other words, VLED 14 has breached the high band of 400 millivolts. AFC will reduce the duty cycle of the pre-regulator until 6.3 volts is achieved at V bias. Current sync is kept at a minimum of 300 millivolts and overall efficiency is maximized. Modern automotive lighting applications continue to trend towards smaller designs with higher density of LEDs to create aesthetically pleasing animations and patterns. As additional LEDs increase the thermal load and smaller board sizes decrease the ability to dissipate this thermal load, AFC is a technology that can help engineers meet their design challenges. To learn more, please visit us at monolithicpower.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative products.